Oh, hi and welcome. My name is Daniro, and I welcome you back to Let's Play Octopath Traveler. In the last episode, we went to the oh, what the caves of Azure. My God, and yeah, those who watch my videos probably noticed that there's some difference in my in my party. I left out Hennet and replaced her with Ferion. Yeah, it must be Ferion, right? And yeah, that's because I was wandering around all the chapter ones, uh, towns, villages, settlements, whatever. And I literally talked with every single NPC to like, I don't know, see if some of them are important for some quests and all that. And yeah, I made some notes on what i want to do and what people i found and maybe we do that someday because right now we are going to into the cave and finish off elfland's chapter two but just so you know i made some notes and hopefully whenever we are going to okay, there's a save point again whenever we gonna go and do some more side quests again I will come back to those notes that I made and hopefully we can get some progress. I think I found a few things that are really important or will be important. And yeah, just so you know. And I also stole from some NPCs some stuff like really unimportant stuff like, I don't know, healing items and all that so that we have those checked off as well that's the right way <laughs> all right then let's go up there <laughs> and yeah i don't know if everyone likes it if i do some stuff here uh off screen in this project but yeah i just don't want this project to be even longer than it already will be probably it so yeah dang it i will occasionally do some stuff off screen just so that we can save some time the most important things of course will be recorded but stuff like i don't know stealing some some items from enemies uh, from npcs yeah why should i i mean just imagine if i this took like roughly an hour to get through every single town and yeah if i would record that that would be kind of boring that's why i did it off screen and yeah i actually don't like to do things off screen especially with a game that i never played before so, but yeah usually i like to record like every single step that i do off screen but uh, falcon garb i think i have that yeah uh, evasion 78 84 evasion nope 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 okay yeah as i said i like to do every single thing on screen i don't want you <laughs> I don't want to be like, hey, by the way, I did all those things off screen. It was so awesome. <laughs> but you weren't there. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. But some things I just do off screen because it would just take too long if I record everything. And stealing everything from everyone and talking to all NPCs to get like some information that I would probably that will probably be handy sometime later if I would record that all then yeah I'm just gonna assume that this project will be well over a hundred parts something so yeah 
might as well spare some time cut some loose ends somewhere and do that off screen to make it a little bit shorter and that's another pink one ah, i knew it but i will get more i will get more into that spiked armor in one part where we actually what is that uh, that's not i will go more into detail of that once we get to more side quests but yeah and just to let you know i will never go into like caves or dungeons or whatever without recording it i always like to be that's what i always do in like every single game i never go anywhere new without you being with me so you don't have to fear anything about that or something i always remain where i where i was in in the parts so don't worry about me discovering something new without you but yeah enough of that um did it I was told to give theory on the uh, Cyrus the what's it called the sword that theory uh, has right now which has a ridiculous amount of magic elemental attack I mean but uh, yeah that would require me to always make Cyrus a thief and yeah i don't know the thing is ferion always will have a sword not all brick and yeah i don't know you might not benefit from it like cyrus does with his magic but still that's still a lot of attack what is it i mean yeah, two hundred. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, it gives roughly a hundred more, but I don't, I don't worry about all those optimizing stuff right now because I'm just gonna assume there will be like optional bosses or dungeons or whatever someday where I need to make sure. keep all those things in mind i mean look at that Tress has 5000 job points and i don't spend them in anything i could but we managed to go through the game so far without problems or with not too much problems so yeah there's that should probably give theory on some kind of new Maybe cross strike because that's really strong. Yeah, 30 drop points. I can spare that. So I appreciate all the tips, but <clears throat> right now I don't think I will need them that much. Uh, inventory, my god. So, yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, so I totally forgot why we went in here. I mean, it's only just been two, three days, but still. What? She has slaves. Yo, Vanessa. Yo, Vanessa. <laughs> but... Hmm. 
Why? Why? Why is everyone judging him? わざと大量に処方したな。責に効く薬を後で売るために。ごめんとよ。私は各地を旅しながら薬師として稼がせてもらってる。みんな病気や薬には無知だもの。欺くなんてちょろいものよ。<笑> あなたみたいな同業者を除いてね。病から人を守るのが薬師じゃなかったのかよ。覚えておきなさい。信用できるのはお金だけよ。大きな家、いい服、うまいお酒。望んで何が悪いの？勝手に望めよ。Yeah, if Cyrus would here would be here, he would snap right now. お金を運んでくれる可愛い猫ちゃん。餌やらなきゃ弱って死ぬだけ。どう扱おうが勝手でしょ。どうす。どうす。ヴィランスですけ。ヤコタド。<笑><笑> お気に召さないよね。じゃあどうする。死ぬ。面倒が起きた時のために保険もやったってあるの。あなた邪魔だわ。おとなしく帰りそうもないし。帰ったとしても口を閉じてなさそうだしね。ああ。帰る気も口閉じる気もねえな。その代わり、その苔で薬作って町の人を治してやる。薬師の誇りにかけてな。あら、そう。じゃあ、ここで死んでよ。Alright. Hope you're prepared for a half hour battle, like usual. Um Awesome. Alright. First we are saving some of the some of the BPs. We have Ophelia in our team, so we should be kind of fine. Gee, why is she? Why is her healing so good? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Just test out. All right, X. Looks pretty in that. In that sprite. Mm. All right, I know what to do. Uh, rest. Because I don't want to deal with po uh, poison. Probably really annoying. Hmm, I should use more dances. That's that is a good advice as well. Maybe on fairy on right now. I know. I know I don't use dances too much, but uh, I'm always that kind of person who who knows 
on the long run it would help but then again um wait can i even steal from you nine what no i know in the long run it will help to buff up my people but oh geez but i don't know i don't really think about that i always think that if i do more damage then i'm one step closer on defeating the boss and if i don't if i use a dance then i will oh yeah i can connect with him as well no that's not worth it <laughs> And if I use um, a dance, then I'm not doing any damage, which means I'm not getting close on defeating the boss. <laughs> I know that's retarded, but <laughs> just how my brain works. I know it would help me in the long run, but <laughs> you know, I don't know. So far, I didn't went game over, I think. Oh yeah, I did in a in one of those random battles. I uh, I guess uh, there's something else. There's something else I can do with him. I don't think so. Um, bow. No, oh, awesome. <laughs> Too bad that I don't have a multi bow thingy. Oh yeah, I made her. Uh, I forgot. Let's go through all the spells. Fire, awesome. I think your shield doesn't go down, right? Didn't pay attention on that. All right, Ophelia, you have a lot of BP. All right. I don't know if she's weak against ice. Nope. Dang it. Summon. Dang it. Should use that lion dance. On. Yeah, Ferion. Alright, he's buffed up. For, for a long time now. I have to make sure to actually. And they can't be weak against lances. But she is. All right. Yep. All right. I'm just gonna assume they are weak against light. Either that or darkness. Um, do I need BP for something steel? Nah. Hmm. We'll combine that. That would not. Uh, just do that for now. Oh no. Um, I need. Um, yeah, let's do <laughs> large volume. Let do everything. Wakes the sleeping. That's exactly what I want right now. Ah, oh, one hundred. <laughs> And you heal. I think I know why. Uh, why I'm healing is so strong. It's because her magic defense is high, right? I think I read something in the tutorial that that uh, healing depends on the magic defense. And I gave her like this one rope that is really powerful. So maybe that's the reason. I think that's the reason. Yeah. I don't know what to do with him. I could, I could steal 400. <laughs> oh, no. That was really stupid. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> uh, summon amnesic. Yeah. Why not?
Don't even oh don't even know why I brought her. Alright, Biffle Guns Bounty. Oh money, yes. Like here again, I mean it takes a really long time to to defeat those guys, but that's only because we're doing so little damage. But they are not doing that much damage to us as well, so we are kind of in the green still. I mean, it's not like we are close of losing this battle or something. I should. What am I doing? I should try and use light. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, good. Uh, ice. Uh, let's do ice. Oh, no. All right. That's probably not gonna be that strong, right? Nope. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he is dodging everything. Awesome. All right, let's just. I'm just gonna put my hopes that they are weak against that. Yep. Awesome. And she's weak against darkness, then probably. And Piron is still buffed up <laughs> from Lion Dance. All right. Um, I'm gonna destroy you if you don't mind. Uh, he's probably almost dead. Please die. Aww. Alright, now you. I know what to do here. Yeah. And who do I attack with? Alfin, Tressa. And just do that. Huff and puff? What? Oh, that did nothing. Well, she wasn't broken, so probably that's why, right? Why didn't you night? <laughs> it's almost those little mistakes. Why didn't I attack with an axe? Here's a way stronger axe. Can I break her in this? You, I just realized you have to be weaker in stocks. Thank you. <laughs> All righty. Um, Alpha. How he doesn't have? Oh, he has. Um. Hmm. Is this gonna be strong? Hopefully. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Um. Let's just check. Forty thousand. That is not much. Why is her name Vanessa? I don't know. That's like the um. Hmm. I could just use something like this, right? It's like the most non-threatening name ever. 
What else? Vanessa is trying to kill you. Uh, does he have? Yes, yes. Uh. Oh, she's poisoned. <laughs> awesome. Uh. Good job. <laughs> Just gonna. Just gonna wait until he has cross strike ready again. Can I break her in this? Yes, I can. And I just realized she's using the same thing that Alfin can do. Okay, can I do something with you? Can do that. I think I think I already tried that and it didn't make her super attack stronger, but whatever. Huh. That's also a skill I should use a lot more. Poisons a single fort for a few turns. Why am I not using that? Jeez. Boom. See that? I think she's almost dead. Alright. Give me your money. Nope. Doesn't seem to get strong. It always does like. It always does like three thousand something. Oh god, dang it! I think she should die <laughs> while I'm dealing with those guys, right? Oh shit! Her magic does not do any damage. Should have buffed up, Ferion. Yeah. Hmm, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> take that. Oh, what? No. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> That's funny. It didn't even say mist or anything. It just it was just like nope. I poisoned you. No. Uh, why did I do that? <laughs> why do I always have those brain farts? All right, please. There's no way I kill those guys in like one turn or two. Just and she's dead. <laughs> and now we are stuck with this awkward situation <laughs> again. I really don't like that. Every time when we defeat the boss, the guys still survive. They should. Oh. Jeez, they should fall down as well, if you ask me. As soon as I defeat a boss, I mean. <laughs> what reason do they have to fight? Fearon is dodging everything. I gave him a lot of evasive stuff, so yeah, of course he's dodging a lot, but jeez. Dodging actually does something. And an RPG, I'm not used to that. All right, we are almost done. Yep. 
we are done and that did not take half an hour good all right we actually got experience damn it all i paid good coin for them the game's up i'll be taking this moss now and i've alerted the guards if you know what's good for you you'll turn yourself in all right you've got me i repent i repent really no nope. sus out your escape road already i'm not as naive as i look i brought a special treat just for you wait that's <laughs> i had a feeling you recognized it slumber fawn the most powerful sleep inducing substance in the realm once prick and the next thing you know you'll be waking up on a dungeon floor <laughs> maybe one day you can start over as a real apothecary if they ever let you out you pay for this you stupid naive dish <laughs> yeah that'll keep her quiet till the guards come now i'll just help myself to, to some of this why did why did if he alerted the guards then why didn't we not why didn't we wait here until the guards arrive to make the battle a lot more easier <laughs> They'll do a hold fight, hold tight, Flynn. I'm on my way. Come on. This battle could have been so much easier. <laughs> oh, traveling Benta. What do you intend to do about that woman, Vanessa? I reckon I let her stew in a, in Gaul and ponder all she's done. Gaul or no, she doesn't strike me as the type to turn into perspective. Maybe, maybe not, but I figure she's tossing and turning something fierce right about now. What do you mean? See, slumber fun has other effects, less well known. You can prick a person's conscience, for example. If there's something in your heart you'd rather avoid, it'll come out in your sleep instead. As a nightmare. That's right. How she still how she'll deal with that when she wakes up is up to her. But I want she is having second thoughts about what she did. Well, I hope so. Why? For my sake? Just be careful, alright? Let's kill her, just to be safe. The man. I think I know how to deal with this quest, by the way. Because I traveled around the world. I can inquire you now. Arigato. I got to know. Ah. All right. Uh. Where's the item down here? The item is more important. This this one girl is probably dying right now, but I have my priorities as well. Okay. So yeah. Well, how are you feeling now? Better. Her cough, it's gone. And my throat, it doesn't hurt anymore. Good to hear it. You saved my daughter's life. How can I even begin to repay you? It's on the house. The moss didn't cost me anything after all. Could have been so wrong. You were the true apothecary. Pray forgive my rudeness earlier, good sir. Yeah. No skin off my nose. Your girl's healthy again. That's all that matters to me. Arigato. Thank you, Alfin. <laughs> Finally, I can go get a seashirt with Ellen again. <laughs> 
go have all the fun you want and with that i'd be best uh i'd best be off there are other people out there who need this medicine and once i've done my job and everyone in gold show is hale and hearty it'll be time to hit the road again jenna till we meet again oh thank you thank you ever ever so much さて、次はどこに行くかね。薬を待ってる人がどこかにいるはずだ。ああ。よう、エリン、フリン。なんだ。びっくりすると思ったのに。フリン。お前もう大丈夫なのかよ。おかげさまでね。うん。二人ともドロだらけじゃねえか。あれ、ギビングミシーチャールズ。はい、これあげる。やっ。お。貝殻じゃねえか。しかもこんなに。お姉ちゃんと二人で集めたの。ありがとう。アーセン。元気でね。お前ら。頑張ったよ。アーセン、貧乏だから。<笑> そのくらいあれば足りる。ああ、当分はな。悪いな。気使わしまってよ。じゃ、母ちゃんと仲良くな。はあ、雨泣いてる。no, I'm not. Let's go to more adventures. Well, where are we going next? So Alfin bid farewell to Goldshaw, more convinced than ever of his chosen path. Though his travels had only just begun, one town was already happier for his presence. So he set forth for Sainsbridge in the Riverlands. He got to see what his journey had in store. Nice. And another traveling banter. Then I already had like four. Alfin, sir, I wish to thank you. You do? For what? For healing Flynn. I don't need thanks for that, Ophelia. Easing folks' suffering is my job. I'm just doing what I came here to do. Only because you are so, uh, pff, only because you are a gentle soul and have made it your job. That's a rare thing in this day and age. Oh shucks! <laughs> You're gonna set that ants on me now. I beg your pardon. My behind. It gets mighty itchy any time someone starts singing my praises. How uh, dreadful! tell me about it it won't be it wouldn't be half as bad if i just stop scratching 
and you just made it awkward good job <laughs> what all righty mm, who do we bring now they're all 30 and we have three characters who are only level 29 that makes it easy and we have to go to Hennett's uh, area next, I think. Uh, 27. Either her or Ulbrich. And I'm just gonna say we're gonna do Hennett first. Alright. Alfin. 32 all right that's not we're gonna do his thing i guess yep all right okay but there's still one problem you have to go over here someday but not in chapter two so i guess you don't have to do that all right i think we have time for like one side quest um let me put up my my notes because i think i know what to do with la man and you're just gonna have to trust me that i'm not looking at like some kind of website or walkthrough or something i literally have like a text document with some notes and yeah, you just have to trust me that I'm not cheating or something. But where was it? Ripple tide. Bring Harris to Leban and Goldshaw to show him up? Question <laughs> mark. That's what my notes say right now. And yeah, because he talked to. This person talked to like when I talked to him or her, I don't really know. Harris, all right, it's some um, him. <laughs> and he talked, he said something like, Whenever he's down, I have to pump him up again. I just realized I need someone to actually a oh, primrose. Yeah, <laughs> okay, where's Harris? Uh, who was it? Him. Yeah. You know, I have this friend. His name is Le Man. He's always wanted to be an adventurer, but between the two of us, he can't even tie his shoe laces without someone's help. Every time he gets down in the dumps, it's also falls me to push him, to motivate him again. And that's exactly what I figured would help. Uh, I must think of some way. Thank you. All right. So yeah. I think that's the only thing we're gonna do, right? Let me just delete that real quick. I'm just gonna assume that this is the thing that we have to do here. Yeah? Because it seems kind of obvious. Yep. Hey, boy. Who do you think you're killing? <laughs> what? Harris and my boon companion, whatever is the meaning of this? The man, didn't you finally do what you always wanted? Didn't you set out to a great adventure? We've been friends since we were children, and I've always tried to be there for you. But enough is enough. You had a dream, didn't you? A dream you felt in your heart since we were boys. Weren't you going to discover an unknown land just like your hero? I know you've always been talking no action, but I really thought that you would do it if you were given the chance. Harris. If so much as see your if I so much as see your lousy face back home, I'll never speak to you again. You hear me? If you're a real man, then don't look back. Uh, I won't, I swear. You've always been the one to push me, uh, push me whenever I need his courage. 
I won't turn back this time. Yes, I will find a new land. Hear me now, oh dope vast and uncharted world. I am the man, and I venture into thee. Goodbye to you, Harris. I leave you now, but I will carry you and your home always in my heart. Go then, the man, and don't come back until you had a true adventure. And now he dies and never comes back, and it's all your fault. A new land, eh? That sounds awfully far away. <laughs> Alright. Got one quest. I mean, that's something. Alright, I think that's it. And yeah. And the next part, we gotta go and where do we have to go? Here. We're gonna go to Stone Guard. Let's go to Stone Guard right now. <laughs> because why not? And that's right, I had business here. And I will show some drops next time. Off screen, I mean. And the next time I will have everyone prepared for battle. And yeah. I'll see you back in the next part when we do when we tackle Hanit's chapter two. Thanks for watching. Please consider leaving a like, a comment, or subscribe. That would be really nice of you. And then I see you in the next part. Bye bye.